only took up high. All right, just a few. I don't want my mother to see us too fucked up. Hmm. Yeah. Don't you, Mama? We should get married. Married? Yeah. For my mother's sake. What if I were to give you a divorce after? Bobby, I like you. Why would I want to divorce you? Hey, Robin, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Good to see you, Bob. We want to get a ring. Oh, my God, look at that one. It's beautiful. He only wants to marry me to please his mother. Oh, that's not good. You give it back after the divorce? What divorce? Streeter, yes, welcome. I'm Roger. This is Christine. How are you? Welcome to Schultz and Dash. Thank you. Now, uh, what makes you think you'd fit well inside me? Uh, I'm sorry? What makes you think you'd be a good fit with this company? Oh, well, I've always been interested in finance. Ever since I was a little, little kid, had a piggy bank, you know. Uh, I mean, I've always found comfort in the stability of math. I guess you could say there's safety in numbers. A sense of humor is important. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Something wrong? No, I, I'm a little nervous, that's all. Stop being so hard on yourself. Well, who else would he be hard on? Hard on me, hard on you. Hard on. Hard on. Hard on. Hard on. Streeter, I think you're going to be perfect for the job. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's talk salary. Andreas actually saw me on stage, but that was a while back. This is my fourth film with him. Uh, the last film I did with him, I played this tragic call girl. And in this film, it's, I'm playing a young woman who is having all these sexual revelations. She's meeting all these different people. <laughs> That sounds like a porn. Terrell has like a really big vocabulary. And he has a penis like the size of my forearm. Hey there, big daddy. Oh, hey, Ma. It's really hot out. Do you mind if I take off my bottoms? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jake was always the kind of guy who finished second to last. My foot is stuck. You took all of it. He has no idea I was never actually in danger, but ever since he saved my life, he's been a whole new man. And as the grass is parting, as I'm walking through it and I'm coming to the end of this cliff, I just sort of want to peek over and look and see what is beneath there. I'm seeing this projector in the side of the cliff of my face being choked. I can hear my children's scream. You hear that, Bobby? We're family.